Now the global number of COVID-19 cases has crossed 19 million with over 714,000 deaths. This comes as the U.S. records 2060 more deaths and over 58,000 new infections increasing the tally to nearly 4.9 million. In Brazil, 1,237 people have lost their lives to the virus in the last 24 hours, taking the fatality tally to over 98,000. More details in this report. The coronavirus continues on its path of devastation with keeping the Americas and Europe in its sights. The University of Washington forecasts the U.S. death toll can reach 300,000 by December if President Donald Trump goes ahead with opening schools. Mexico's death toll has crossed 50,000 mark after 819 more died in the last 24 hours. In hopes of stopping the surge of the virus, Brazil has vowed to set aside $356 million for COVID-19 vaccine developed by AstraZeneca and Oxford University. That was a job done with the Health Ministry, the Oswaldo Cruz Foundation, with the AstraZeneca Company and with Oxford University in London, England. We studied all the vaccines and this is the most promising so far and should start being used in the population from December or January next year. In Europe, the second wave of the coronavirus is surging as many countries reimpose lockdowns to curb further transmission. The UK is set to remove Belgium, Andorra and Bahamas from safe travel list amid fresh cases being reported in the countries. Denmark has dropped plans to lift curbs on public gatherings originally planned for this month after seeing a spike in infections. France has reported more than 1,600 cases for the second running day. As many countries around the world work on cure against the virus, the World Health Organization Organization has warned of vaccine nationalism. Vaccine nationalism is not good. It will not help us. When we say it should be a global public good, it's not sharing for the sake of sharing. It's only because it has advantages. For the world to recover faster, it has to recover together. Because it's a globalized world, the economy is intertwined. Part of the world or few countries cannot be a safe heaven and recover. They should recover together with the rest of the world. Meanwhile in Asia, mainland China is still trying to get the locally transmitted infections under control. China has recorded 37, while South Korea reported 20 infections overnight.